All right, take two of this video. Hi guys and welcome to my channel. So today we are doing a what's in my hospital bag video. So let's hop on into what I've got going in my bag. If you guys are new here, I would love if you subscribed and joined my little family here on YouTube. I do a lot of this like mommy style content or really just like what's going on in my life. I like to share with you guys. I do like to design and do decor and I love makeup and fashion. I love doing all the things. So be sure that you're subscribed and you click on that bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. All right, so now let's hop on into what's going on in my bag. This is the second time I've tried to record this video for you guys. I had the camera recording in the wrong setting first and Kaya kept coming in and out and it was just a hot mess. Okay, so let's get into what is going on in my bag. So I have, um, this is just the bag that I am bringing. This is my Duluth Trading Company bag that my grandma got me. Um, for Christmas, I think a year ago. It's a beautiful bag. These are real leather handles and I love the army green and the brown leather combo. It's beautiful, but I just think it is very useful. I use this as a carry-on when I travel, but um, for now it is going to be my hospital bag. Okay, so diving into the bag, I have, there's these two big pockets on the front. Now in the one pocket I have a bunch of our chargers, which um, it's a good thing I'm going through this bag right now because I realized that I didn't have a base in here. I had taken it out to borrow it for something else. So I need to put that base back in here. But this will have um, also my camera charger, likely my camera as well. Um, and then I'll have a tripod somewhere in these pockets too. Um, just because we do plan on recording the birth and we're gonna keep it PG, but we plan to share that with you guys. So I need to make sure that I have all of my technology equipment with me as well and ready to go. Memory cards wiped off and um, prepped. So everything technology wise will be in this pocket. Now in this pocket here, you can kind of hear and see that I have that I have my vitamins. Now I just have my prenatal vitamin in here. Um, you do need to continue to take your prenatal vitamin even after you have baby. And I didn't do this the first time around, but I am going to bring some evening primrose oil with me. I don't know if I'll actually use this, but in my mind, I'm thinking that it might help with healing, um, just in case I tear a little bit more than I did with Kaya. With Kaya, I only had a couple of stitches, um, and she was a nine pound baby. But um, every baby is different, and who knows if the way that they stitched me up last time is going to have any effect on whether or not I tear this time. Um, but anyways, I just figured I would bring it along just in case. Okay, starting out with the inside of my bag. Now the inside of my bag is just really one big compartment and then there's like this like smaller compartment on the side that has a lot of my toiletries, which I will get into in a minute. Um, but first things first, I packed my slippers with because it is the middle of January and I live in Minnesota and it is freezing here in Minnesota during January. So I'm packing these slippers with to keep my footsies nice and warm. I do tend to get really overheated though. Um, so I probably won't be wearing these all the time just when I am walking around on those icky hospital floors. To go hand in hand with the slippers, I am packing a couple of fuzzy socks. These are just Christmas socks, Christmas fuzzy socks that I got this year for Christmas, um, but they will do the job. They're super cute. Now I packed a couple of robes with. I plan on just wearing the hospital gown that they provide for you in in the hospital but after giving birth I usually after resting I like to shower and change into my own outfit um, just to make myself a little bit more comfortable and maybe like a little bit more covered just in case I have guests coming in and out to see baby and ourselves um, but I packed a couple of different robes because I know we're gonna be taking pictures and I want to be picture ready if you will even if I'm a hot mess at least I'll have a cute robe on and I plan to have my hair curled so I only wash my hair like once or twice a week um, and then I will just recurl my hair as it goes um, so hopefully it lands on a good hair day too but um, both of my robes are from Pink Blush Maternity. Now this is my, this is the first robe. This one's a little bit shorter um, and it's not a stretchy material, um, but it does hide some of the problem areas. <laughs> um, it looks kind of like a, like a monarchy um, 
like print to me I got this last summer it's actually a maternity robe um, as well so I got this last summer to kind of have for during camping and it was cooler so that I didn't get too overheated um, again these are both from pink bush maternity so if I can find these still on the website I will link them for you guys and my second robe which is my favorite robe um, is again from pink blush maternity it is a dusty blush pink it's beautiful this is such a flattering color you guys um this sleeve detail is adorable crocheted sleeve detail this one is really soft and really stretchy now a lot of the stuff that i have packed in here is just clothes and comfy items and like my toiletry items a lot of the postpartum stuff i do rely on the hospital for because they gave me a giant bag last time this is my second time around packing my hospital bag so i feel like i have a better idea of what i will and will not use and i packed so much postpartum stuff in my first bag and I'm going to the same hospital this time so I kind of have a good idea of what they provide for me but I didn't use any of my postpartum essentials that I put inside of my hospital bag last time so I'm trying to be a little bit more conscious of what I pack so you'll notice there's not a ton of postpartum items in here besides like maybe some breastfeeding stuff again because they just provide the hugest bag <laughs> hugest because that's a word they just they provide a huge bag full of stuff and it's enough stuff to get you through the hospital stay and for when you come home. Mm. Thanks, baby. Holy moly, that looks delicious. That's room service right there. Best husband ever. So when you have a baby, right after you have a baby, if you've never had a baby before, um, I was really caught off guard by how strange my belly felt to me. <laughs> it didn't feel like mine. And nobody really talks about um, what that feels like after you have a baby. It is very alien like. The belly is very like jelly feeling and empty. The empty feeling that you have after you have a baby is the most bizarre feeling you'll ever have. I'm sure other mamas out there can relate. It's very strange. You went from feeling so full and providing a little womb for this little life inside of you to all of a sudden you're just empty. It's bizarre and it's very squishy. Your belly is still there, but it's very squishy. So um, I like to bring with, I don't use like a belly bandit or um, the Bella Fit girdle until closer to like two weeks postpartum the first week or two i like to use um it's kind of like spanx but the brand is made in form and it's from target now this is just a um i guess you could call it like a shapewear so it has very firm tummy control in here this is a spandexy material but it is it's firm enough but loose enough so that you're still comfortable but this is gonna hold you together and make you feel like you're a human again I really love these made in form tank tops this is actually one um, this is actually one that I used during my pregnancy these are great during pregnancy you guys I just figured this out this time around this helps hold the belly up much better than any belly band that I've ever found and it kind of keeps you in shape, makes you feel a little bit more put together. Um, but I ordered a brand new one for um, putting in the bag, but it's not going to be here until like Tuesday next week. So for video purpose, I am showing you guys the tank top I've been currently wearing while pregnant. Okay, so moving on to nursing bras. I've really been struggling as to what to bring for a nursing bra. I can't remember what I did last time. I honestly can't remember. Um but i want to wear something comfortable until i'm going home i'm actually wearing one of my nursing bras right now this is like the cup nursing bra i really love gosh what's the brand I'll have, i think it's isabella i'll link it down below for you guys um it's just from target i get a lot of my stuff from target but i didn't want to wear like cups per se like at night or um like during that first day after having him i wanted something that was comfortable kind of like a sports bra or nighttime nursing bra so i did order this one off of amazon and i'm not too crazy about it because it seems to fit my ladies a little um strange <laughs> i it fits me but it doesn't fit me um i feel like they're just kind of hanging out there for everybody to see and if they get any bigger 
this is definitely not gonna fit me, but I do have it packed with just in case. There's a space inside here for nursing pads, um, but I did go ahead and I ordered a more full coverage um, nighttime nursing bra from Target, and it's the Medela brand. I'll leave a picture here for you guys, because that again is coming on Tuesday with the shapewear tank top that I did um, order last minute. So I'll have a couple of nursing bras in here, and plus I'll probably be coming to the hospital in this cup, it's the underwire like cup nursing bra that just kind of snaps down. I'll wear this one home, so I'll wear it to the hospital and I'll wear it home, but while I'm in the hospital I'll be wearing those comfier um, nighttime nursing bras. Now while you're in the hospital, you are not going to fit back into your uh, pre-pregnancy clothing right away, but you're going to be in this weird in-between stage. You're still kind of going to be maternity for the most part, but your belly is going to be smaller. So plan for like what you wore right around six months pregnant. That is my advice. So still wear your maternity leggings or your favorite maternity pants or sweatpants, anything that's going to get you through the hospital stay that is going to fit around a belly. So I do have a couple of pairs of leggings. Now guys, I live in leggings. There are two places where I got my maternity leggings and that was from Target and I love the Il Isabella brand and I got them from H&M for like a little bit cheaper of an option. Now the ones from Target, the Isabella brand, are much nicer and have a little bit more of like a firm top control. So those are the ones that I am packing to bring with me in the hospital. This top, like I said, again, it's like more of like a, it's like a tummy control. I, and it's like an athletic, it's very similar to like my um, Lululemon leggings or, or my activewear leggings that I've gotten from Target in the past. It's a very nice material. So I plan to bring these with for a firm um, tummy control legging. And then I will be bringing with a pair of my H&M leggings, which my husband managed to wash all 12 pairs of my H&M leggings in one load this morning. So I don't have any of those to show you, but they're just like a thinner material, more of like a cotton instead of a spandexy material. And they don't have that nice firm tummy control on top but they're comfy and if I'm not feeling the tummy control right after having baby then I can just toss those bad boys on. Enough of the tops. Um, I went a little overboard probably but um, I packed several different kinds of loose shirts. Now seriously look at this thing. It's like a garbage bag. It's really cute actually. It like hangs off like hangs off one shoulder and it's really easy to access a boob <laughs> so you can do breastfeeding. Um, it's just, it's a really like wide collared shirt, it's very flowy um, and then something I can even wear underneath one of my robes so that I look put together but I'm still wearing something that I'm comfortable in um, and that I can nurse in. So that's the biggest thing. You want comfort but you want nursing and you want to look a little bit cute, right? Because you just gave birth and you feel like you're falling apart from the inside out and you want to look like you're not falling apart from the inside out. <laughs> so another shirt, um, same kind of concept here, but this one's a v-neck. Um, I have no idea where these shirts are from, by the way. Probably, like, I don't even know, Marshalls, maybe? I don't know. This one my mom gave me. And it's a wide v-neck, again, like a super wide collar um, and an easy access <laughs> that you can breastfeed. But it is cut nice and it flows so that your belly will not be accentuated <laughs> and then just in case I am feeling like wearing something a little tighter um, I did bring with one of the uh, one of my tank tops that I wear this is one of the tank tops that I have worn um, every single day during my pregnancy almost I have like probably a dozen of these tank tops they're like 388 at Target um, I think I order them online but this is just something that's maybe a little bit more form-fitting in case I don't want to look like a garbage bag one day. One more top. Now I don't know about this top. This one's a little bit smaller um, and I don't know how great it's going to be for access but it has like, this is the neckline on it. It has like cross or like lines but it is pretty loose. This one's from Target um, and it like reaches, I can like reach down and um, nurse I think I'll let you guys know if I actually use that one but that's just kind of an extra shirt um just in case I get milk or yuckies all over me and then I did pack um a cardigan so this is one of my favorite cardigans that I have from H&M um 
I'll have this linked below as well because this uh, this was a staple for me while I was pregnant. I have one of these in three colors. I almost wore these exclusively during the fall. This is all I wore and it was one of my favorite things to wear while pregnant. And I will be bringing, I have, um, it's like a, it's from Fabletics, a very loose athletic zip up. And I will be bringing that as well, probably for on the way home or just chilling in the hospital if I don't feel like wearing a robe. I'll be um, bringing that with as well. Okay, so getting into the toiletry section of my bag. So in my toiletry section, what I have packed as of right now is just extra stuff that I had on hand that I knew I could put in the bag and it could sit here for a few weeks and I wouldn't be missing it. Now there will be last minute items I add as well. That'll be my makeup bag, which has like my Tarte BB cream in there, it has my face lotion, my favorite concealer, um, which is the Maybelline Age Rewind right now, and uh, like brow stuff, a little bit of eyeliner, and then some highlighter. Um, so that will be going in here a little bit more last minute, but what I have in here for now, I don't plan on washing my hair in the hospital, um, but just in case I have to, if I get like really gross stuff like in my hair, if I get like puked on, I do have um, shampoo and conditioner with me. Now, this is just like my extra set that I have on hand. Um, this stuff has actually been discontinued. I love this catwalk by TG, the headshot. Oh, it smells so good. It's like a minty. Um, but these were just extra bottles that I had sitting under, under my sink. So I packed these with again. I'm really hoping like last time when I had Kaya it landed on a day It was I was induced so I actually was able to plan for it a little bit more um, But just in case I'm not induced this time um, I'm hoping it lands on a day where I can shower or where I've showered the night before and my hair is already done I don't like to wash my hair more than once or twice a week and I just like recurl it or like refreshen it up and use dry shampoo to keep my curls living um, But I will be showering there so rinsing off my body so some of the things that I packed for that were, um, oh, this is face wash. So I have not labeled these yet, <laughs> which is going to make this a little difficult for me. But um, I have a few of these travel size containers. So this one is face wash. Um, this one is actually just um, body wash. So this one's body wash. And this one is my Hemp's Lotion, which is my favorite lotion. I get really dry during the winter time, so I have to have lotion on me. I brought a paper mask with me. Who the heck knows if I'll actually use this in the hospital, but um, I got a ton of these for Christmas, so I thought it would be kind of fun if we had, if, or if I had just like a couple extra minutes for myself to toss this on. Um, and it's one of the calming masks, so we'll see. So I have like a few things just inside this little, cute little gold bag. Um, and that has my deodorant. I always have a couple of these deodorants on me at all times. This is the Caring Coconut. And then um, we have a toothbrush, toothpaste, and a razor inside of here just in case um just in case i need a quick little shave so that's what's inside this bag and then i have some makeup remover wipes these are just the target brand um i think or it's just it says smartly i don't know these are like the dollar ones from target and then i brought along some um perfume this is just extra perfume this is usually my summer um body spray but i brought this with for um, freshening up and then I also have a little compact mirror inside this little bag along with some q-tips now I also use a lot of chapstick and gum when I'm in labor and the chapstick and gum will be kept inside of my purse which this is my diaper bag slash purse that I will be bringing with me and I will be doing a separate video on this but this has some of my more like daily essentials so like my favorite Morphe lip liquid lipstick if I am going to be doing like hospital photos I'll have this in my purse along with chapstick my planner my glasses um, I have like an allergy nasal spray that I use 
yeah so that'll all be inside of my purse now that is everything that i packed for myself you guys um underwear i do have a few pairs in here too i'm obviously not going to show those on camera but the hospital provides you with so many things they provide you with mesh underwear they provide you with all of your postpartum essentials and the kitchen is available at all times of the day so i didn't really pack any snacks per se for afterwards even though last time i had a ton of snacks in the room with me trying not to do that this time because i pigged out in the room <laughs> i was so hungry all right so that's what i packed for myself let's kind of move into um what i packed for baby my battery is flashing at me already um i did pack a blanket to bring with to the hospital just because a little bit of comfort from home is nice to have with you um and i did bring my boppy pillow for nursing I can't remember if I actually used this last time. I have the worst memory in the world, but I do want to bring the boppy with me just in case. Um, a pillow does the job as well, but this is baby boy's hospital bag. Now this is just a bag that I had gotten from, um, I believe this came with my nursing pump. Um, came from like aeroflow.com. There's a couple of pockets in front here and I just have a burp rig in this front pocket and everything else is in the main compartment. So when you zip it open, I brought um, a huge thing of wipes with this time. These natural Huggies wipes are our favorite, and I know the hospital provides plenty of diapers for you, um, but sometimes the wipes that they provide are not my favorite. Um, I believe last time they were just Pampers wipes, and I'm not crazy about Pampers. I know all these other moms like love Pampers, but I've never been able to get on the Pampers train. So I brought an actual huge thing of wipes with because when they're newborns, they go through so many wipes. I brought um, a swaddle with. I don't actually think he'll necessarily use this, um, but I wanted to have it on hand just in case we're gonna do a photo or something. I did toss in for on the way home, um, just for quick access this was a pampers sample that i received and this has just like one pampers diaper inside of here along with like a couple of pampers wipes i just tossed it in for for fun i think i got that in my amazon um baby registry box and i also brought with my nursing cover so this is a nursing cover that i got um in my baby shower haul which i'll have linked up here for you guys um my sister got me this it's like a car seat cover nursing cover all in one so i brought this with me just in case i've got guests coming while i am nursing him and i'm gonna skip his going home outfit for now um, I brought with this little gowny for him. Now, Kaya, I can't remember if we dressed her in a ton of outfits while she was there, but these are one of my favorite things to dress them in as newborns um, because you can have easy access to their diaper during the middle of the night without messing with um, buttons or zippers or anything. Um, and then I brought a couple of different sized sleepers as well. Um, this one is a zero to three month sleeper. And um, this is the Burt's Bees brand. So I brought that one just in case he is longer. But if he happens to be shorter, because you guys, everything's just kind of a guesstimate as to how big they're going to be. But if he happens to be a smaller baby, I did bring with a small, um, this is a newborn, um, like sleep and play zip up little outfit by Lamaze. I just wanted a couple options for sizing. And then I brought with a little bib just in case he is spitty um, in the first couple days. Usually they're not, but just in case. And then I have a PBTB with me because I'm a first time boy mom and I feel like that's kind of self explanatory what that's for, but. Um, if you don't know, it's to cover the wee wee um, while you're changing their diaper so that they don't pee all over you. <laughs> we'll see if it actually works. I feel like it's just going to fall off when he um, gets his diaper changed, but we'll see. Um, for hospital photos, I wanted to have um, a swaddle with a matching hat. Now, th this is the set I got. You guys, I ended up finding the swaddle in this color. It's the camel color by Copper Pearl. So I have the swaddle and the matching hat to go with it so that we can take um, some really cute newborn photos. I plan on bringing our letter board with us as well so I can do um, like a weight and a time. 
um, and a date that he was born. All right, everybody is joining us for the end of this video. I'm bringing a winter hat with just in case it's cold outside when we bring him home. This is his take home outfit. We're going to be doing um, cute little photos in these on our way out the door. We did the same thing with Kaya too. So he's got the buffalo check pants, new to the crew um, onesie, and then a little hat to match, and little booties. So cute. So that is all I bring for baby, just because um, everything else is really provided for you for baby in the hospital, so that there's no need to overpack for things. Um, the only other thing that I'm forgetting here, which I thought was already packed, Kaya might have taken it out of the bag, it's kind of been sitting here for a while. I do plan to bring my Earth Mama nipple butter with, which again, I thought I packed it, um, but I bet you anything Kaya got into it and hid it from me because it was in these front pockets but I'm gonna be bringing my nipple butter with me um, which is more of like a natural which is more natural than the stuff that they provide for you in the hospital my hospital does provide either the Medela or the Lansano um, cream but yeah I'm pretty sure that Kaya took my other nipple butter that I had packed all right you guys that is going to wrap up my what's in my hospital bag and what's in baby boys hospital bag this is everything I'm taking with me to the hospital to keep me comfortable and to get me through the two-day stay at the hospital. If there's something that you guys bring with to the hospital that I did not include today, leave it in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys bring with you. Um, I'm very minimalist. I just like to be comfy and I really just rely off of what the hospital provides for care for myself and care for the baby. And I do plan to breastfeed. Thank you guys for tuning in to today's video. Again, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so that you don't miss out on any of my other future videos. I have a ton of really fun stuff coming for you guys here in the future, including that birth vlog. If you did like today's video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys sometime in the very near future. Bye, guys. What a wonderful